Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sport Bike Menace. So, we're going to talk about how to avoid accidents on your motorcycle. And why I say this is because I get a lot of comment about me wearing gear. And yeah, I'm wearing shorts and some cheap gloves that I got on Timu. But I'm going to explain stuff to you guys. Let's be real, let's be honest. So right here, this is the honest truth, right? All that accident stuff, majority of us motorcycle riders, we can avoid it, right? A lot of it, at least 95% of it, we can avoid it. But sometimes we make dummy mistakes or we purposely do a lot of illegal stuff that we're not supposed to do. The more illegal stuff we choose to do, the bigger the chances of you getting into an accident or falling and getting seriously injured or dying, right? But there's a lot of it too that can be just nature itself. And I'm gonna say nature itself, it could be raining. And if it's raining, it's very slippery for especially sports bike. Uh, the trees drop a lot of leaves. It could be leaves on the floor. And the bike doesn't have the traction it needs, right? Uh, what else? Uh, a squirrel runs in front of you you don't want to hit it or if you do hit it you, you fall you get hurt cars pulling out in front of you uh, hey, uh, we got like here I live in the city now there's some cities are worse than this one but we got a lot of like hidden alleyways the streets for cars and some of these streets cars don't pay attention and they pull out but your job as a motorcycle rider is to be a defensive rider. Be defensive. If you're not defensive, then something might happen. You might be, it's, it's called an unlucky day. Now again, if you push your bike and you push your skills and something happens, well, that's not a bike problem. That is, that is you, a you problem. So, if I know that I'm going to push my skills very hard and I'm going to push my bike very hard then yeah, I should be wearing gear but I live right here in a little city right? if I ride safe and smart then I can avoid a lot of these accidents so when I got into my two accidents I got hit by cars could have they have been avoided from me? yeah! At the time, I didn't I didn't realize it, but yeah, once you look at it, yeah, right? Because the lady that cut in front of me, I kind of figured she might pull out in front of me. I should have slowed down to let, you know, give her more time, even though she was the one in the wrong, because I have the right of way. She was in the turning lane. But I could have gave her more time and, and not be, you know, hard-headed and selfish and say, well, I got the right of way, I'm going to go. I could have avoided that. The other one was a bike broke down in the highway and I chose to follow them and tried to tow the bike to the house instead of choosing my own ride say hey yo, I'm gonna leave you guys you know this is unsafe getting on the highway getting off the highway getting on the highway getting off the highway going 10 miles per hour 15 miles per hour on a 60 uh, 60 miles per hour highway now Usually that's how everybody goes 70 to 80 miles per hour even though it's a it's a it's a 55. So again why I could have been avoided I could have just went home. I could have just said yo I'm out. It's not my bike. You know my bike is not the one that's down. The bike they could have left it there and pick it up some other time or get a a, 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 a truck to pick it up or tow it by a tow truck. So it, again could have been avoided all me my, all my other ones that I fell was a me fault but at very so slow, slow speeds and it was more turning you know when you turn slow the bike becomes heavy and if you're going too slow well obviously it's gonna flop over so yeah I dropped my bike probably I want to say three times dropping it like myself dropping it and not just this one even my 600 when I was a real newbie I was trying to do a u-turn a very tight U-turn inside of a small street and I messed up I was using the clutch in and out 
and I was going too slow for the RPM that I was supposed to be at so the bike stalled on me and it flopped over so again all my injuries have been from those two accidents I never I never got hurt on the other two the other the other three that I dropped the bike at slow speeds I'm going like three miles per hour now again I have, have I pushed my luck a lot of times? Yeah, I pushed my luck a lot of times and I got lucky. But a lot of that is my fault, right? You gotta avoid these accidents. Avoid pushing your luck. It don't matter how much skills you got. And the, the, the places, the, the mistakes I've did, a person that didn't have the skills would have probably never got out of those accidents. They probably would have been seriously injured by now or probably dead. But my experience teaches me how to get out of bad situations and stay calm. Damn, I don't know why I took the city. I should have just took the back roads. But to give you guys examples though. Ah, ah, your mother. I'm hitting the... I hit the horn instead of the changing the uh, turn signal. But anyways. Look, I'd rather die comfortably. Where... I'm not wearing hot ass gear and a sunny ass day. I'm wearing, wearing gear when it says 95 degrees outside, you want to wear a, weather, uh, a leather suit, leather gloves, leather boots. Hey, you want to be sweating your balls off and then get what's it called? He, he, uh, he stroke and then end up dying because you got too much gear on. I don't want to be like trying to rush my ride because I'm not comfortable. You know, and be unpatient. Hey, I want to get home. I want to take all this stuff off. It's too hot. No, I don't want to do that. I want to ride comfortably to where I'm comfortable. Because the worst thing is to ride when you're not comfortable. If you got an uncomfortable bike, you're not thinking about being safe and looking around. You're thinking about how much your ass hurts. Or like me, like, again, it don't matter if you got gear on, but my hands hurt, right? I'm more paying attention to my, my hands and trying to shake them off because the blood circulation or all my weight is on my wrist. Or my ass hurts, right? So, there's a lot of ways to avoid accidents. It's by reading traffic, right? Reading traffic, reading, uh, the, 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 the looking at the person's face to see if they're going to go or not go. If they give you the right away, don't give you the right away. Seeing if somebody's gonna pull out in front of you, like kid or an adult, you, you pay attention to people's body movements. I look at everything I possibly can, even the road. See, like this stuff like that, you know, stuff like that, you got potholes. And another major play, your, your bike maintenance. If you don't got good tires, you don't got good brakes, don't ride, you know, change all that stuff out. Your brake, uh, your brake fluid need to be changed out. Change brake fluid. Like, do the maintenance to your bike if you plan to ride, and especially if you're gonna ride hard. Like, you guys see my YouTube channel. I'm always doing maintenance on my bike, upkeep and maintenance. That's how I'm able to do what I do, and the bike is not fighting me as much because the maintenance is up. Tires are new, brakes are new, rotors are new. Like, there's so much new parts on my bike that I'm more safe because of it. When your bike is a broken down piece of shit, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be real. If your bike is a broken down piece of shit, well guess what? It's gonna ride like a broken down piece of shit. And if you plan to ride hard on a broken down piece of shit, well guess what? You, you, you're you raising your risk of getting hurt. And then at that point, well you need to wear gear. If you know you're gonna get hurt, and you have a bigger chance that you know I'm gonna get hurt and do wear gear and, and again if you're that afraid of dying and getting hurt don't ride motorcycles give it up give it up and i want to say it like this too be careful on the comments people put on youtube channel right because i don't go up to a, a motorcycle rider and say hey you should be wearing gear that starts drama that can start a fight unnecessary comments i don't do it I'm not gonna go to a Harley rider and say, hey, you should be wearing a full face helmet because it has it's more protection compared compared to those turtle shells. I won't do that. One, it's none of my business. But if he gets hurt, I'll be there for him. But at the end of the day, I won't like it's not my business. I'll go help him out. I'll call 911 and 
be there if you you know if that person that ride a Harley or whatever bike, I'll be there for them. But I don't have to. I don't have to babysit him on what gear should wear and what he shouldn't wear. What tires they should buy. What brakes you should buy. I, as long as you have something, something's better than nothing. That's the best way I can say. Yeah, some cheap shit you shouldn't put on your bike. You get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. Put it like that. You want to put some cheap handlebar uh, uh, clutch and brake lever and they fall apart and then now you can't, you can't change gears, you can't brake because your, your levers fell apart. Because you got them on eBay, Amazon that come from China. You didn't spend $100 on, on, your, on your levers. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things that you don't wait, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't put on your bike. And again, riding a motorcycle is a defensive ride. Be defensive all the time. Pay attention, always. The same way we look for cops, the same way you look for cars trying to hit you or people pull out in front of you or animals being in front of you or the pavement being greasy. You got oil, you got antifreeze. Where, where does the motor sit in the center of the car, right? So if I'm in the center lane, I have a bigger chance of running over oil, antifreeze, all of that stuff, right? All that stuff, right? So if you, you ride in the center, guess what? That's right here, center. This right here is where all the oil is going to collect that because that's where the oil pan is at, where the motor sits is in the center of the car. So you try to stay away from the center lane. Look at this guy, right? This guy could have pulled out in front, right? You saw that? He could have pulled out. You got the other one, right? It's called being defensive, being smart about every move you're gonna make. Look at this guy, right? He could pull out. So it's all, like, it don't matter. Look at this person, this person could pull out. It don't matter what gear you wear. You can get seriously hurt. You can be a dead body inside of a leather suit. You'll be a dead person in a trash bag. That's what we call it. And look, and again, I always tell everybody, look, thanks for your concern. Thank you for telling me to wear gear. Thank you, I appreciate it. But I will be all right. I've been riding motorcycles for a, a, a lot of years now. I've been riding bicycles since I was a kid. I was riding skateboards or, or whatever you want to call it, riding skateboards, doing riding, uh, uh, rollerblades. Come on, like I've done all of the sports that has to do with riding. Like, I'm not gonna say I'm invincible. I got hit already twice. Broken, I had a, a hairline fracture on my right wrist and I got a, 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 a screw holding my bone together, my tibia bone, right by the plateau of the tibia bone. So I know what it is to get hurt. I got the scars to show me what it is to get hurt. But everybody here in the city don't wear gloves. They don't wear gear. They don't. They wear helmets. Some of them, like probably 60% of us, wear helmets. And we're talking about sports bikes. But majority of them don't wear none of that. They wear glasses. And some of I've seen some people not even wear glasses. And here in Pennsylvania, at least you gotta wear safety glasses. So like, I live in the city where it's not. That's not happening. Dirt, we got dirt bike riders, we got four wheel riders. Like they ride like if we're in Philadelphia, right? In Philly, you got all the dirt bikes, all the four wheelers. You see them wearing helmets? When they're doing tricks and doing wheelies, you see them wearing helmets? And some of them are wearing like the hef the, the turtle shells, but not all of them. And again, you think I'm gonna go up to them and say, hey, yo, you gotta wear gear. And then I'm like, yo, who are you? That's a way for me to get beat up and jump by a whole bunch of them. That's like me going to the, um, to the Hell's Angels and all these other gangs that, that wear, I mean, that drive or ride uh, Harleys. And I tell them, hey, y'all gotta wear gear. I'ma get my face rocked. I'm good. Let them ride their ride. Y'all wanna be comfortable, go ahead, ride y'all ride. Y'all wanna die on y'all bike, go ahead, die on y'all bike. God bless you though. Ride it safe though. Go ride your ride. Look, put my turn signal on. I see him breaking, right? I'm up to my 
my signal again. I'm in third gear. I pay attention. I look. Right? Red light's coming up. Let me slow down. Right? That guy comes there. Let me slow down. Right? Change gear. Go further down. Slow down even more. My brake lights work. I check those out all the time too. Right? So, all this stuff, all this maintenance stuff, y'all gotta check them out. I didn't, I didn't even turn off my turn signal because it's talking to the camera. It got me distracted. Look, look at this right here, right? That person that's gonna turn right now, he could pull out. So, we live in an area where you gotta be defensive all the time. And some, in some states and some countries are worse than others. You feel me? That it don't matter, again, the gear can help you, but it's not gonna save you. And me, again, I choose my ride. My ride is, I'm okay with dying comfortably. Look, it's just that simple. I'm okay with the way I ride. And the guy that put a comment on my YouTube channel, no disrespect to him, I told him, I, I said, thank you for your concern, but I'll be all right. He didn't like that. He didn't like that I said, thank you for your concern. Right, so it became a little argument. It could have got worse. So again, the same thing that happens on YouTube is the same thing that can happen out in the streets, right? That little argument happens back and forth, like, dude, I don't, I'm good. I don't want to. I don't want to, uh, to, uh, damn, I was copping. Where the hell was he at? And he can't, oh, damn. See, look, even cops is, like, flying by. I'm going 44. I'm actually breaking the speed limit, and he's going faster than me. Look at these two, right? Everybody's pulling out. So, my point is, there's always going to be a chance of us getting into an accident of us dying. If y'all scared of dying or getting hurt, don't ride. It's called, every time we get on the bike, we're lucky to come home. Let's put it like that. It's the same thing if you're going to go to war. Every time you go to an enemy territory, you're lucky to come out, right? Because you don't know what's going to happen. When I go on my bike, I don't know what's going to happen. I can't predict the future, but what I can do is be as defensive as I can. Ride defensive. Ride your ride. If I ride in a group and there's a newbie, I'll be like, nah, you can't ride with us. You know, unless we gotta ride slow for that person. But anyways, guys, I made this video long enough. I gotta ride this, I gotta take this bike and empty out as much gas as I can. And then put put regular gas without the uh, injector cleaners. And then see how she runs afterwards. But my best bet is to tell everybody, look, ride your ride, ride safe, ride smart, man. Like be comfortable but be smart right there's gonna be people that are a bunch of idiots they're on drugs they're on pills they're on alcohol they're gonna run your ass over and they don't they don't have no guilty conscience they're drug addicts they're alcoholics they're they're on pills they don't care about your life and no gear is gonna save you i just tell you to be do what you wish to do what you want to do with your life you want to buy a 1000 you buy a 1000 you want to buy a 600 you buy a 600 you want to buy a, a bike that has a supercharger that's on you but understand the consequences to your actions that's the thing i mean i'm 35 i know the consequences i already lived the consequences and not trust me the consequences can be much worse that i lose my leg i lose my arms i become paralyzed but this is the choice that I chose with YouTube or without YouTube. It's my bike is 100%. This is what I love doing. I love working on my motorcycle. Only thing I don't love about it is when it costs me money. But if I had a lot of money, I don't mind working on my bike. It keeps me busy, keeps me entertained. It makes me feel good about myself. Anyways, everybody, ride safe, drive safe, and always ride defensive. Always ride defensive. Look at this person, right? Look at that, right? Ride defensive. No matter the gear you wear, ride defensive. Look at this one, right? Look at that truck. 
the other truck. One truck moves to the right, the other truck moves to the left. And this is how it is. Ride the fences. But anyways, everybody, put a like, put a comment. Just don't get mad if I reply and you don't like the way I reply. It doesn't mean I'm going to be disrespectful. It doesn't mean I'm going to argue. Right? I don't make, and I don't got enough time for none of that. I don't got time to argue with nobody. I don't make money like that. I'm just going to be real with everybody because it's what I am. I'm real. You got a real YouTuber. I make mistakes. I make mistakes and I admit my mistakes. That's a real YouTuber. Making mistakes, that's okay. It's called learn from it and grow from it and don't make them again. Or at least try not to. That's a part of being an adult and growing up, admitting when we're wrong. So learn from my mistakes and don't do as I say. No, no, don't do as I do, do as I say. Even though that's not gonna happen. But anyways, everybody, ride safe, ride smart, and I'll definitely catch you guys on the next video.